What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here, and welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check update today, 2021, as well as the next two upcoming packages, the next infrastructure package and the next stimulus package that they are working on right now, as well as what is going on in our country and what is going on in Washington, D.C. Also, I have a special guest appearance at the end of this episode, so make sure to watch all the way to the end of this video so you don't miss out on the special guest appearance. This will be a fun one, so uh, make sure to watch all the way to the end so you don't miss out on that. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. And remember that new videos come out here on our channel every single day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day, no matter what. Uh, and don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps out our channel. Former President Donald Trump is making major headlines today for the Republican Party and uh, for our country here. Number one, he's suing major companies like Facebook and Google, saying uh, his class action lawsuits are a victory for free speech. And quote, that these companies are immune from so many different things, but they're not immune from this lawsuit. Former President Trump recently filed lawsuits against these companies claiming they're wrongfully committing, quote, censorship resulting from threatening legislative action and willfully participating in joint activity with federal actors. He's also making major news today as uh, he easily won the CPAC nomination, which is, well, I, I should say it's a, um, it's a poll that basically he came out as the top nomination for the presidential candidate for the Republican Party. This is not the official nomination. It's more of kind of a polling for the Republican Party. So it does appear at this point he is the most likely candidate to be named for the Republican Party. Again, not an official nomination, but the most likely um, nomination at this point for the Republican Party. So so we are looking at this point where like we're going to see a, uh, a rematch, basically a showdown of presidents, uh, former President Donald Trump versus current President Biden in the next presidential candidate or the next presidential election in 2024, uh, Trump versus Biden. Let me know your thoughts on this and let me know who you think will win. Let me know if you think this next stimulus package will have any outcome on the next election on what is in this next stimulus package if you think it will have any bearing on the next election. These are the current uh, items up for negotiation for the next stimulus package. Do you think, for example, a forced stimulus check or monthly recurring stimulus checks um, are a prerequisite? They need to be included in this next package. Do you think Social Security or Medicare expansion need to be included in this next package? Do you think the extension of the child tax credit monthly checks need to be included in this next um, package? Remember, those are only... Uh, pass for this one year, 2021, the 250 to $300 monthly checks that are starting on July 15th. Some people are reporting that they're already receiving these checks. Go see my last video before this. Um, just go to my channel after you watch this video and look at the video right before this on unemployment, uh, $10,200 checks going out and child tax credit checks going out along with some important information about the child tax credit checks. Uh, definitely need to watch that video. I'll link it to that at the end of this video as well. But there's a lot of very important things um, going on in this next package, along with two years of free college, free preschool, um, some very, very important things in this next package uh, that are currently being discussed in this next package. So a lot of really kind of life-changing things. I mean, when we talk about Free college, there's millions of people that cannot afford to go to college. Medicare expansion to include hearing, dental, uh, dentures, vision, and hearing aids. I mean, there's um, many, many seniors that cannot afford hearing aids that cost thousands of dollars per year. And these would be like probably lifetime benefits. I mean, we'll have to really see how they write the wording to a lot of these things uh, if Social Security or Medicare, I don't know if both of these things are going to make it in the next package. Uh, I have a feeling, I mean, we'll just have to see. I, I honestly shouldn't say that because 
Honestly, for all I know, I mean, we could see number one and five or number one and four or number two and three. I mean, any of these things, honestly, it's it's kind of a crapshoot at this point of which things are going to make it in this next package. I don't even think Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer or Nancy Pelosi could tell you which of these things could be in this next package. I think we're, we honestly could see uh, the demands of, of like, you know, people like Senator Bernie Sanders what they put their foot down and say, listen, I'm not going to vote for this package unless things like number one and number four and number seven and number 10, like whatever they demand be in this next package, um, that could be like the be all end all of what makes it in this next package. And and, and this is where it's going to honestly, to be dead honest, that's where it could make the difference for which of these items could make it in the next package. Now, here's the thing is that Senator Joe Manchin the senators are going to be very, very important. We're going to start mentioning names like Senator Joe Manchin, Senator Bernie Sanders. The House of Representatives, I don't, I don't want to discredit anybody, but the House of Representatives are really not as important. I mean, they're important, don't get me wrong. But just kind of looking at the political landscape right now, there's 435 House of Representatives. So, and, and just because there's so many of them, there's like four... Um, votes from the Democrats that can vote no. Okay. So they can get a couple people to vote no, but ultimately they need like 99% of the Democrats to vote yes. So um, what will probably happen is the House will vote. And if they get more than like four or five to vote no, then they'll have to be like, um, okay, well, we, we need to get these people that voted no in a group, negotiate with them and then vote again. I don't know if that's going to happen. If they get, if it doesn't pass, then that's what they'll have to do. Okay. If it doesn't pass for whatever reason, they'll get it to pass. Um, they'll just have to do something like this. So, like, if something like that happens, I mean, you'll see a lot of headlines. Oh, my God, it didn't pass. It's the end of the world. Don't worry. That's why I kind of um, condition you guys for these ahead of time. This is why I, we talk about Joe Manchin and Bernie Sanders. The senators are a little bit more important because we need every single senator to vote yes on these items. All 50 senators have to vote yes. We're not expecting a single Republican senator vote to vote yes on this next stimulus package. Not a single Republican senator voted yes on the third stimulus check package. And not a single Republican voted yes from the House of Representatives either. Not a one. <laughs> not a single one of them. Okay, so we're not expecting a, a single one of them to vote yes for the fourth one either. I don't know why. They were all voting yes when we had the first three packages passed underneath Republican President Trump and Republican uh, Mitch McConnell. Uh, and in fact, they passed uh, the third, the, uh, yeah, the first, second, the second stimulus package um, in December. And then all of a sudden, you know, President Biden comes in like a month later in January and then they don't want to pass any more packages. I don't know. It is what it is, right? All I know is that I want to continue to help you guys on this channel. Now it happens to be a Democratic landscape. So the Democrats are passing them now. Before it used to be mostly the Republicans. Whoever passes them, it doesn't really matter. Let's just help the people. So now the Democrats happen to be passing the packages. So here's kind of what needs to happen. All 50 senators need to pass them. And um, that's that, right? So... Uh, Senator Joe Manchin said he's willing to do at least $2 trillion. Senator Bernie Sanders says he wants at least $3 trillion. The kind of the good news there is that Senator uh, Joe Manchin said he's worth willing to do $2 trillion. That's actually more than the third stimulus check package. The key questions are, what is going to be in that $2 trillion? For example, a third stimulus check, the $1,400, costs about $400 billion. $400 billion. That's about 20% of the package, okay? So are the is there going to be a $1,400 check in there? Is there going to be uh, the Medicare, ex, ex, um, the, the Medicare ex, uh, benefits there, the, the hearing, the dental, the vision, lowering the Medicare eligibility age to age 60? Um, they're saying that's going to cost about $600 billion, okay? Um, if you add those two in there alone, that's about a trillion dollars. Are both those going to make it in there? Is one going to make it? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We're going to find that out here in the next few days. 
Um, is Social Security raise going to be in there? Is free college going to be in there? Is the child tax extensions going to be in there? Is free preschool going to be in there? Is, um, you know, they're talking about they want some climate changes in there, um, so, some green energy stuff in there. I mean, there's a couple like miscellaneous stuff in there that I don't really have on my list. That's just, it's miscellaneous stuff. Uh, it's not really like for the people. So I don't really have it in there because again, I, I have to, and I don't have 137 different things on there, right? Um, there, there's more things on that list, okay? Um, the question is, is if the if the bill's two two trillion or 2.5 trillion, either way, that's more than the third stimulus check package. But they're only going to be able to fit so much in this package. What is going to be in that package? And that's what we're going to figure out here in the next few days. Um, some of these things, like Medicare benefits could potentially be a benefit forever. In in a, in a lot of ways, to some people, that's actually, and, and I don't want to come off the wrong way, in some ways that's more beneficial than like a single stimulus check. And again, I don't know what's going to be in this package yet. We're going to be finding that out. Um, but, you know, a lot of people, they get a, a stimulus check and, you know, like a month or two later, the money's gone. But when we talk about like Medicare benefits, these are benefits that would go on month after month, year after year, over and over and over. And um, you might not qualify, qualify for Medicare benefits at this point. I don't. I mean, I'm 40 years old. Um, but at some point, everybody's going to be a senior. Okay, so if they lower the Medicare eligibility age to age 60, um, at some point, I'm going to be 60. At some point, you'll be 60. You might be now. Um, at some point, uh, Senator Bernie Sanders says like 75% of seniors don't have hearing dental vision and hearing aid coverage. Um, this is like, we're talking tens of millions of seniors that will get these benefits. Okay. And this would be benefits that would go on for years and years and years and years and years. So like when we think about like this, if we go back to like the second stimulus check or the third stimulus check, if, if you've already spent that money and that stimulus check is gone, um, that benefits kind of over now. But when we talk about some of these benefits on this list, like Medicare benefits that could go on forever or free college benefits that could go on forever or free preschool that could go on forever or child tax credits, monthly checks that could go on for years or uh, some of these different programs that could go on for years or uh, forever. Some of these programs are actually life change. Social security raises that could go on forever or for, for many, many years. A lot of these programs are actually life changing. Okay. So don't get me wrong. Um, a forced stimulus check would be great, but I actually think that some of these other programs are actually life, life changing. Uh, and that's why I don't want to discount a forced stimulus check. But some of these other programs, I'm actually kind of hyping these up a little bit more. Um, and I understand that a lot of people don't qualify for free college or you might not you you might qualify for free college, but you might not want to go or you might not qualify for free preschool or you might not um, qualify for Medicare at this point. You might be 40 years old like me, but at some point you might or your mom might. Right. But I think a lot of these um these things that might go on forever or might be benefits forever for millions of people are very, very, very important changes for our country. And also remember that there's going to be more packages after this. In October 1st, which is in two and a half months, the Democrats get more reconciliation cards for the next fiscal year, and they're going to be able to pass more packages after this. So uh, Social Security raises, Medicare, whatever we don't get in this next package, um, they're going to kind of kind of send a cleanup crew to do for the next package around. Now, here's the interesting thing. Get this. Former President Donald Trump says that rhino Republicans, which are Republicans in name only, uh, you know, kind of like fake Republicans, are being played over the infrastructure and really the next stimulus package, which they're all going to really vote no for. Uh, former President Donald Trump has warned Senate Republicans not to help President Joe Biden pass a bipartisan infrastructure bill, really part one, the physical infrastructure bill, and called on them to maintain the tax cuts, the Trump tax cuts, the 2017 Trump tax cuts, passed during his time in office. Trump referred to those negotiating the infrastructure deal as rhinos, 
Republicans in name only and blasted Democrats' fake infrastructure proposals. The White House and group of Senate Republicans agreed to a $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure framework last month. The bipartisan bill would be passed in tandem with the Democratic proposals to fund human infrastructure, a.k.a. the next stimulus package, which the party intends to introduce with the reconciliation process, a.k.a. the next stimulus package. Trump says it's very important that Senate Republicans not allow our hard-earned tax reductions, the Trump tax cuts, to be terminated or amended in an upward trajectory in any way, shape, or form. Quote, they should not be making deals on increased taxes for the fake infrastructure proposals being put forward by Democrats, almost all of which goes to the ridiculous Green Deal's Marxist agenda, Trump said. Yeah. Democrats' budget reconciliation bill would include key changes to the Trump-era tax cuts, as Senator Joe Manchin, a key figure in the process, has indicated support for reversing some of the tax cuts passed in 2017. Those tax cuts uh, were passed using the budget reconciliation process back in 2017 in the Trump tax cuts and could possibly be reversed in the new reconciliation process in the new rec uh, reconciliation process with the, uh, the new Democratic reconciliation process, the, the, the new stimulus package. Yeah, so as you can see here, part one, the physical infrastructure package is kind of... <laughs> hanging on by a thread. Remember, these two packages are kind of tied together with a shoestring. Their, their, their fates are kind of inter, interlaced here. Um, former President Donald Trump is warning Republicans, kind of, I don't know if he's really saying not to even pass part one. Um, I mean, part one does have a lot of universal support from both Republicans and Democrats. It's kind of been universally acclaimed um, by both Republicans and Democrats. I mean, we have even both like business leaders and labor, um, like uh, employee unions and stuff have both kind of uh, praised it. Um, and, you know, now former President Trump kind of throws a wrench in the whole system, you know, kind of telling Republicans, I don't know, maybe not vote for it. You know, I don't know. It's, it's a tough one there because like, hmm. Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. He basically, he's saying, be careful because if you pass that, then they could undo the Trump tax cuts in the reconciliation process with the stimulus package, with, which the Republicans passed in the 2017 Trump tax cuts. The Republicans passed that in a reconciliation <laughs> process of their own. And now the Democrats are potentially thinking about getting rid of it in their own reconciliation process, kind of a, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, you know, and this is, and remember, uh, former President Trump wanted to actually get rid of the filibuster process, which is the process where you need 60 votes to pass a normal bill in the Senate, and the reconciliation process is that special process you need to pass and you can only use a few times a year, and you have these special rules, um, which they're using for this next stimulus package, and Trump used in 2017 for the uh, the Trump tax cuts. Um, and they used it against the Democrats to pass the, the 2017 Trump tax cuts. And he's warning that the Democrats might undo some of that in this next reconciliation package. But the thing is, is that, you know, Trump's warning that well, I don't, you know, he's warning against the physical infrastructure package because the Democrats might undo some of the Trump tax cuts in the reconciliation process. Well, they could really undo it either way, regardless of whether they pass the physical infrastructure package or not. I mean, they could not pass the physical infrastructure package and the Democrats could still undo that regardless of they pass that or not. I mean, they could not pass that and the Democrats could still do that. I mean, in the reconciliation process, because I mean, the Democrats can pass the reconciliation process either way. I mean, again, we've seen that in the third stimulus check package, and that's kind of 
That's where your vote matters. And that we've seen this happen with in 2017 when the Republicans were in control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency. And um, they passed the, the 2017 Trump tax cuts with the reconciliation process. Now the Democrats happen to be in control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency. And they're passing things with the reconciliation process. And again, you kind of see what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Both parties do this. Um, both Republicans and Democrats have done this. Both Republicans and Democrats have wanted to get rid of the filibuster. It's not just Democrats. It's not just Republicans. Both parties, I mean, it's, it's kind of like if we could go back in time or go forward in time, both parties have wanted to do the same things. Whoever's in power, it's almost like they always want to do the same thing because these the filibuster is a hindrance on passing bills. Whenever things need to get done, the filibuster is a hindrance. And they always hate when the other party's in power. It's just, it is what it is, right? Whenever one party's in power, they try to pass whatever they can. Um, luckily, I don't, I don't know if it's luckily or whatever. You can let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. We happen to be in a pandemic right now. And the right now they happen to be passing a lot of stimulus things. I mean, they, they happen to have passed three stimulus packages, two of them had stimulus checks that were passed underneath mostly Republicans, so Republican Senate, Mitch McConnell, and Trump. Now the Democrats under Senate, uh, House, and President have passed one. Now they're hopefully going to pass another stimulus check and all these other items. Um, even if we don't see a stimulus check... I, God, I hope to God we do, but we have all these other different stimulus items in there like Medicare expansion, child tax credits, which actually are stimulus checks. They're tax credits. A stimulus check is a tax credit. It's actually classified as a tax credit. It's no different if you get a check from the government and they say, here's a child tax credit or here's a stimulus check tax credit. It's a check from the government. So if the government gives you a check and said, here's a check child tax credit or here's a stimulus check tax credit. It doesn't matter what it is. It's money from the government. So um, we want as much help as we can, whether they call it unemployment refunds or tax credit check, stimulus check, tax credit, pandemic EBT, SNAP, WIC, unemployment bonuses, um, rental assistance, mortgage assistance. Let's get as many programs as we can in this next package so we can help out as many people as we can. And hopefully we see a lot of these like, Social Security raises, Medicare raises, these programs that like go on forever um, that will help a lot of uh, poor people, people in need, uh, people that really need this stuff. These programs that go on forever, uh, more than just like one time assistance things. So and everything's not going to be in this next package. There's going to be more packages after this. And hopefully we see a lot more of these programs that uh, go on forever, uh, like this, hopefully this Medicare thing that will go on forever. It'll be benefits forever. I like those type of programs because it's more than just a one-time thing. Let me know your thoughts. I'll keep you up to date with everything. Uh, remember, new videos come out here on our channel every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to subscribe down below. It's completely free. And click the bell icon to all notifications to get reminder notifications when we go live with new videos. All right, say hi. Let Blippi. <laughs> Blippi's not there, but you're there. Blippi, not there. No, but Daddy and Julian are. But where Blippi? Blippi's on another part of YouTube. All right, so tell everybody what you just got for being a good boy. A new, 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 new roller coaster. A new roller coaster. Mommy's going to show uh, some footage that we got of you on the roller coaster. Boopy, boopy, boopy. A boopy on there? <laughs> no. Do you, well, tell everybody what you think of your roller coaster. Do you, do you like it? Yeah! All right, do you want to go play on your roller coaster now? All right, say bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Say we love you. We love you. Say we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. All right, here we go. Julian's first ride on the roller coaster. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Try again.
You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video is my most recent video about uh, unemployment checks that are going out and child tax credit checks that are going out. Important information there. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.